Hi guys, this is Kimmy Angs and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be the third video from FIFA 22 on the PlayStation 5 and this time we will be facing off Real against Real Madrid in the semi-final of the pre-season friendly tournament from the career mode in FIFA 22. So having beaten the likes of Bayern Munich, Juventus and Atletico Madrid in the group stages, let's see how we fair against the most successful team in La Liga and also in the Champions League. So yeah, without further much to say, let's dive right in. Once again, this is going to be on legendary difficulty with default slider settings. Hello, our travels have taken us to the desert. We're at the King Fahd Stadium in Riyadh. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And we have action from the semi-final stage of this pre-season tournament coming up for you. It is Manchester United facing Real Madrid. Well, we're now down to the final four, Derek. It's been a great tournament up to now. Good preparation for the upcoming season, and both teams would love to get to the final in a few days' time to cap it all off. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Jadon Sancho plays. There it is! And just the ideal start! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. So Real restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they find an equaliser? Oh, possibilities inside the box. Real chance. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Luka Modric with the corner. It might still be problematic. Well, no damage done. And in with a real chance. And it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter attack is so impressive. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So 2 0 now. is how to apply the pressure Benzema must be it's still alive well they survived the attack and a throw in forthcoming well that was a magnificent save just how did he keep that out that's incredible Marcus Rashford and continues his run and let's give credit to the defending and the through ball from Modric Vinicius Junior Vinicius Junior and nothing positive comes of it unfortunately And Ronaldo sends it in. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Camavinga. Oh, they might be onto something. Almost found its target, but cutting it out in the end. Vinicius Junior. Good looking pass. Benzema. Marco Asensio waiting to pass. Could pull one back here. And able to get a body in the way.
And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Chance to play it in. Ronaldo! Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Over it comes. And the corner far too close to the goalkeeper. Mendy. Kamavinga. Now Casemiro. Andrej. Now he must favour the cross. Could be! Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Cristiano Ronaldo. Jesse Lingard. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Asensio. Untidy in possession. Benzema, here's Casemiro, Asensio, a chance to eat into their lead, well it might still work out for them, they're getting right on, and somehow kept out by De Gea! Let's see about the delivery, can he open the door to a potential goal? And De Gea, absolutely brilliant goalkeeping. Shaw. Paul Pogba. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. He's managed to get in behind. Sensational goalkeeping from David De Gea. United could be onto something. Lingard ready to fire. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Moving forward effectively. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Now Paul Pogba. And nicely struck. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Who can they pick out? That is that for the first half here. So the ball rolling again, and Real left with a real mountain to climb in the second half. Marco Asensio. Now Casemiro. Tony Kroos. Vinicius Junior. A chance to whip it in. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Vinicius Junior. Casemiro. That really would have changed the equation had it gone in. Stewart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. 
So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Mendy. This is Kroos. Kroos. And moving the ball nicely. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, not hard to read that pass. Vinicius. Have to say a poor touch. Unable to keep it in play. Goal kick. Well, Real Madrid are going to... Make the change now. United have been getting two substitutes ready and both will come on. Well, as you can see, United just haven't been able to dictate the pace of the game. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas and then counter-attack quickly. Benzema. Well, this would help them get back into the game. They had to react, and did. Immaculately placed by Casemiro. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. And now the delivery. Struggling to get it away. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. He's lost it. Marco Asensio, crossing possibilities, could reduce the deficit, and he does! There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. On they go again, and I wonder, can Real push for a leveller here? Modric. Room to roam for the Merengues here. But quick thinking defensively. Jesse Lingard. Given away by Manchester United. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Encouraging stuff from United. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. Well, that save has kept him in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. Great effort to keep that one in play. And taking it away. Azar. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And into the last 15 minutes of action. And Edinson Cavani's in position at the far post. 
Real did well to regain control of the ball. Azar. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Andrej. Now, Azar. The end product just wasn't there. Marcus Rashford. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Rifled against the post, but back in play. Well, that would have made sure of a well-deserved victory, but they're not quite there yet. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. And nearing full time, United inching ever closer to victory. Can they hang on? Stuart, your thoughts? A big moment here, Derek. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Did well to win the ball back. Benzema takes it forward now. Well, not cleared away completely. This could square the game. And that is defending of the highest order. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. This could be the equaliser. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Real Madrid attacking, and they have to give it a go with time not on their side. And he was in the right place to intercept. The referee blows for full time, and Manchester United go marching on to the final. Well, it was far from easy at times. They'll certainly know they've been in a match today, but these are the sort of games you have to get through if you want to win silverware. They've done that, and now they can turn their attention to that final. Another close game, winning by a single goal again. Well, we take it as they come. Doesn't matter how we win, as long as it is victories for Manchester United. So, yeah, based on what I've seen in these three games, uh, I've been playing a 4-4-2 formation, a flat 4-4-2, wherein I've had you know, two strikers up front, which could either be Cavani and Martial or Rashford and Ronaldo. And that's the pairing I normally keep. And then uh, the wingers also do a brilliant job because they, they, they cover a lot of ground and put a decent amount of crosses in which eventually do get to the strikers and then they are able to capitalize by scoring. The fullbacks though, I think uh, even though I'm playing a 4-4-2 formation, they tend to uh, fall towards the center which actually opens up a big space on the wings that I've seen and this I've seen in all the three games that I've played on FIFA 22 that I have uploaded as well so I think there might be a little bit of a tactic change I might need to do normally I just keep default tactics on so yeah I think the AI does this quite a lot so off the ball movement of your players can actually slow down quite a lot towards the end of the 90 I mean towards the end of the second half basically trying to make the AI get more chances with shots on goal but then when you have a beast of a goalkeeper like David De Gea guarding your posts you know it's quite rare that a ball could penetrate penetrate through into the goal so so thank you David De Gea once again for saving Manchester United from you know losing the win but yeah I think uh, Com comparing it to FIFA 21, FIFA 22 is quite tough. I mean, a lot tougher if, if I can put it that way. Of course, now with uh, with this being a pre-season tournament, we have the liberty and the luxury of having the entire team revamp. But then once we go get into a proper season in career mode, we would be limited only to having three substitutes. Anyways, this brings me to the end of my video. 
um, I'm leaving my social media handles in the description below so if you guys want to connect with me on Instagram or on Facebook or on Twitter you most definitely can and uh, if you guys are on discord and you're looking for a PlayStation 5 unit or an Xbox Series X in India well look no further you can join the PlayStation India discord server wherein we've got bots that notify you about about stock availability of all these consoles on the online retailer websites as well as if you do already have a unit you can connect with the local gaming community which is 4000 members strong and um, yeah discuss about upcoming releases gaming in general about peripherals and accessories and displays and ssds and yeah everything re under the sun that's related to gaming or otherwise anyways guys thank you so much for watching there is more content coming your way um, I will try to cram in something more that I can before I actually head for my next trip. If not, uh, I hope you guys understand and uh, yeah, the next couple of videos that are going to come up are going to be quite interesting. So do watch this space. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do let me know what you guys think of my performance in FIFA 22 and where else I could improve as a player. But yeah, this is this was the PlayStation 5 gameplay video from FIFA 22. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. This is Kimmy Yanks signing off. Take care, guys. Enjoy your gaming. Keep safe. And God bless you all.